there's something about the innovative spirit that results in a solution last minute, right before the deadline. It that's works a, um, out. Well, I mean, how did, I don't know how you did school. Probably a lot better than me. That, but no, that's exactly that was, how I did school. I couldn't be, mo I was no motivation up until like the last, if you're like, we have 22 hours to do the entire semesters of work. I'm like, let's do this. Yeah. And yet like 19 freaking Mountain Dews and then, uh, yeah. Well, that's that's why you and I are failures in life because I just talked to, I mentioned Cal Newport uh, the, uh, with his book, uh, Deep Work and so on. He is of the variety of these creatures that, basically does everything ahead of time. That's shocking. Because he this dislikes the, he thinks it's unproductive uh, to experience the stress and anxiety of the deadline because you're just, you're, you're not going to be your best performance wise and you're not going to do the best work. So it doesn't make any, it's completely irrational mm -hmm. to, uh, to f a function based on the deadline. You should have a system, a process that gets stuff, a little bit of stuff done every day so like you should be and constantly be systematically honest with yourself. If you say, I'm going to get this stuff done today and this week, at the end of the day, at the end of the week, you have to then reflect on what you did, what you planned and uh, improve that plan, update it constantly, update it every day, every week, every quarter, whatever those durations are. Uh, as, as I'm listening to this and reading his stuff, it's like, oh, the, yeah, I agree with everything. I'm like, yes, I'm There's clapping. Nothing. But like the reality is, and then I the, go back and just eat Cheetos and like man. don't do shit until like last minute. It ain't being cheesy. Yeah. But, uh, uh, yeah, uh, the, uh, <laughs> actually, but, I don't but, eat Cheetos, but yes. But, but actually, I, like, again, not that it'll so ever good. matter, not that it's ever going to matter because he's so shockingly productive and well thought out that whatever I've decided to think about trying to monkey wrench in there is uh, he's definitely going to be able to deal with. But it's funny that again, because you're a human being, not a god, all of your strengths are your have a corresponding weakness. The less you practice working under the gun, the less comfortable you are working under the gun. The more practice yeah. you have working under the gun, the better you get at it. The downside is you're always working under the gun, so you're less productive. Yeah. Or it's like your work quality maybe drops. So it's an interesting thing. It's like it's almost like, hey, I wonder if this. I wonder if uh, Khabib Nurmagomedov has a lot of heart. And I try to say the answer is almost certainly yes. But you go. Well, he hasn't struggled a bunch. Maybe he doesn't struggle well, and it just so happens that he can also work under the gun really well. He just doesn't like to do it. Yeah. But uh, yeah, but it's an interesting thing. It's like I guess what is it? The Aristotle we are what we repeatedly do. We are all we are all practicing something all the time. So I guess it's it's funny. I guess that's a question that I have though. I, I would love to ask him. It'd be, it'd be really neat. Is uh, in certain jobs? I mean, obviously you want to have preparation always, always. But certain things have like a degree of like entropy in the system. And you go, I need to practice working under the gun. And I'm not saying that's what I need to do because fighting it should be, for the most part, it's a really sterile environment in the grand scheme of things. Like fighting in a cage is very sterile compared to most other things in life, right? But um, dangerous, but sterile. And uh, unless, of course, like, you know, like the other guy, the ref decides to hit you, which would be hilarious. But um, anyway, I guess just going like, okay, so at what value do you get out of adding a degree of, let's say, you could even be planned by someone else, but junk in the system and you just have to work under the gun to make it happen. Let's yeah. say for instance, for like police or something like that, the situation turns left hard at, at some random point in time. And that could happen to any number of people. So I guess it's interesting things that allow for perfect planning or quasi perfect planning versus things that are inherently unstable. Mm -hmm. And then what are the, uh, what's the psychological fallout of comfort with that? Cause I think a lot of people that are really comfortable under the gun, let it happen a lot for all the good and the bad of that. Does that make yeah. sense? No, that t totally makes sense. And it was, I mean, his answer would be that you have to be honest with yourself mm -hmm. if it's valuable for the, your success to practice being under the gun. And then you should schedule that. God, then he's smart. That's you should good. plan that. <laughs> you should systematically, and then as opposed to doing it half-assedly, because it's as opposed to letting the environment choose the randomness, like right. control the randomness to where like the, you optimize it. Optimize How is he, it it's yeah. so efficient, it's shocking just to yeah. hear about it. Yeah, no, he's, he's, he's annoying. I mean, the same way you are, he's annoying in the same way, which is like, he, he drops truth bombs. It's like, yeah, yeah, that's so true. Yeah, and, we're probably comparably, yeah, doing that. Yeah, no, he, there's, 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 <laughs> but he's, so he, his profession requires that. So he's not just like a motivational speaker or whatever. He, uh, He's a, 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 a computer science, theoretical computer scientist, mm -hmm. and 
he needs the long hours in the day of doing like serious math. So it's mostly math proofs. Hmm. And for that, you have to sit and think really deeply. It's like really hard work compared to like uh, what most people do. Like even what I, I mean, what I do, like programming is way easier than rigorous math proofs. Cause you have to basically you have this machine and you have to, uh, your brain to churn out logic in a focused way while visualizing a bunch of things and holding that in your brain and holding that for 10 minutes, 20 minutes, hopefully several hours. And you're not just like doing homework, you're doing totally novel stuff. So like stuff that nobody's ever done before. So you keep running up against the wall of like, fuck, this is a dead end. Oh no, wait, is this a dead end? And like that whole frustration, that's serious mental work. That's like incredibly difficult mental work. So he knows what he's talking about. That's and it's amazing. But like you said, he's like this seems like the standard for the quality of work that he needs is so high. So high that almost anything to. less than this level of systematization and organization would preclude it. Right. So he can't afford the kind of bullshit that I don't know about you, but that certainly I do, which is like last deadline kind of stuff. Because you can't do that kind of work uh, uh, last minute on right. deadline kind of stuff. So my my question for That's him so cool. in general is like, and for you and I is like, well, here's these negative patterns that we do of like doing shit last minute and so on. Is this just who we are now? Or are there some- I, I don't think to... I'm really big into uh, free will. You know, I was thinking that it's mostly predestination. Predestination. <laughs> at least in this regard. It's, it's the same with like communism. Like as long as it fits my, uh, wh whatever is the lazy thing to do, I'll I'll just not believe in free uh, yeah, will. Yeah, I'm not a communist, I'm an opportunist. Or uh, <laughs> that's what that was. I'm, what... I'm an op opportunistic communist <laughs> <laughs> and capitalist. I just do whatever, whatever is cool at the time. Exactly. Uh, 